Anybody see Slice of Life last night? Uh, oh, Slice yeah. of Life? You mean that uh, local ripoff of that MTV show, Real World? Yeah. It is so flashy and superficial. Uh, wow. Sorry you guys feel that way about the show, because I think I can get us on it. How? Oh, shit, that's great. So, how soon could you do it? Well, how much time do you need? Well, I'm going to have to go home and get my, you know... Time's up. Okay, boys, right over here. Right here? here? Now? Oh, well, I, I don't think I'm ready. Oh, Jack, um, Jack. Um, how do I look? Yeah, right there. What? What? There you go. Oh, God. insane tonight it's like when we come here we're we're no longer human we're transformed we become some kind of animal <laughs> but what kind of animal are we <laughs> well what kind of animal are we all right that's all jack we're not getting anything usable. We may have to stop production. No, 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 no. Production can't stop. Production must continue. But your friends, Jack, I mean, they're just not popping. Well, they're nervous. When you, when you come by tomorrow, they'll be ready to pop. They better. <laughs> What's the problem? You said you wanted to do this. We weren't ready. There is no ready. It's just life. Slice o' oh, life. Well, there's one slice of my life I don't want on TV. Can we please not mention that Jack and I used to go out? Why not? Because it would trivialize a part of my life that means nothing to me anymore. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. We're going to be on TV in front of half a million people who will idolize us for our cool lifestyles. Oh, you mean women will be idolizing you. Isn't that what this is about? That's what this is all about. <laughs> I'm not so sure about this at all. I mean, you remember what happened when I was in the odd couple in high school. Oh, my God. <laughs> when they brought the video camera in to tape the play, Brian developed this profuse nosebleed. <laughs> I haven't seen that much blood since The Shining. <laughs> yes, I've, I've avoided being videotaped ever since. Oh, come on, man. It's going to be fun. Plus, they're going to pay us 500 bucks. Each? Yes. Well, I get eight, but, you know, still, that's three days that you don't have to be a temp. Unless, of course, you enjoy dressing up as a kangaroo and waving people into the car wash. God, you're good. Hey, 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 hey. What's the camera crew doing here? Oh, uh, they're taping all of us for a slice of life. Oh, cool. That's, that's, all of us? <laughs> well, uh, Gordon, yeah, why don't you, uh, come by Jack's tomorrow? What do you say? Yeah, huh? I'll be there at, at 6 a.m. Door stays locked until 10. Oh, wait. <laughs> Shelly. What are you doing inviting him? What? I'm sorry. Look, I just like to go back for him. He's not a total in her. Oh, 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 one more thing. What should I wear tomorrow? Gordon, it doesn't matter. Just dress the way you dress around your house. I don't dress around my house. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. <laughs> Jack, I was just cleaning and I found this stack of parking tickets. Ain't that a pisser? Yeah, and I'm the pissy, because you got them with my car. Oh, well, what do you want me to say, Brian, that I'm going to go downtown on Monday and pay them off? Yeah, it's the law. Well, whose law? Well, obviously not your law, Mr. Bond. Ooh, can I say something here? This is exactly the kind of bickering slice of life loves to get on tape. Yeah. You know, remember the episode where the guy with the tiny hands got in the screaming match with the model? That was weird. I don't understand that. Yeah, we don't want to be like that. But we're not like that. We're different. I mean, we're happy. You know, you and Brian are happy. I could pretend to be happy. Liz is unhappy, yet she can be distracted by shiny objects. Okay, just remember, nothing about me and Jack. Keep things in the present. Brian is the roommate. I am the roommate's girlfriend. So I won't say that I am the former boyfriend of the current roommate's current girlfriend? <laughs> right. What about Liz? Hey, where'd you guys get this? <laughs> okay, here we go. Stand by. 
Slice of Life, Jack Slayton and Friends program segments, take one. You know, I'm really no, uh, no different than any other guy. I, I enjoy fine food. I'm lit. I'm Liz. My art. Making love to beautiful women in ways they never thought possible. I'm Brian. I am different than any other guy. I'm, uh, Jack's roommate. And if you like the job I'm doing on Brian's hair, you can find me at Shea Bartholomew. Oh, it's me. Um, hi. I'm Shelly. I'm like a ship. I do cuts, coloring, and tinting. Sailing to the beat of my own drama. I'm Jack's roommate. I don't do leg waxing, but, but I'm going to take a class. And I just want to make it clear, I'm not like a lot of people you've seen on this program. I'm intelligent. Did that sound stupid? Can I say this on TV? Oh, God, it, it sounded stupid, didn't it? Or maybe I'm like a puppy. Great, Jack, just... Yeah. Bob, we're pulling the plug on this funeral. Where, 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 where are you going? You, you, you can't go. You just got started. You've seen Slice of Life. It's edgy. It thrives on conflict. Con conflict? We got... Oh, we got conflict. Uh, 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 okay. Um... I owe Brian money for parking tickets. <laughs> We're out of here. Oh, uh, did I mention that Shelly and I used to be lovers? So now she's dating your roommate? Yeah. <laughs> Bob, turn on the camera. It's showtime, folks. <laughs> so, Shelly, what's it like dating your ex's best friend? Jack? She's a journalist. She dug it out of me. <laughs> you promise. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Just, just talk about all the passion. <laughs> that's, uh, that's enough, Jack. No, it'll, it'll be good TV, trust me. <laughs> Wasn't that passionate? <laughs> Are you kidding? After a while, sex was all we had. Oh. Jack. <laughs> in, in fact, we made love three times after we broke up. And we weren't even speaking at the time. And if I recall, those were the best ones. <laughs> you never told me that. When did that happen? It was way before you, and well after Jack. Oh, wait a minute. I, I don't want to talk about this in front of the whole world here. It's not the whole world. It's just Chicago. Although I think they show it a week later in Milwaukee. <laughs> <laughs> then I think it's important that you make clear what you had with Jack is over. In fact, what you had when you had it was not all that good. <laughs> Come on. Look, come on. It, I... it, it, it was terrible. <laughs> In fact, you know what this man did? I think we have enough. He cheated on her all the time. Oh. <laughs> what about the night you spent with Monica Rawls? You slept with my best friend? <laughs> Thought I was your best friend. <laughs> You are now. Liz, you know what I mean, okay? No, no, Shelly, you seem a little jealous for someone who's supposedly over Jack. Or is she? Look, I am not. Not what, jealous or over Jack? Yeah. Jealous or over Jack? I want to know, right here, oh, right now. Look, Brian, if you have a problem with my past, I'm sorry, but it happened. You never like Monica as much as you like me. <laughs> Liz, that is way down on the list of things I'm worried about. Well, what'd you expect? You think it was going to be easy going out with my roommate? Why don't you just go with my dad, for crying out loud? Hey, don't give her any ideas. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's pretty obvious. You can't handle what happened between me and Jack. I'm starting to think maybe this isn't going to work out. Come on, Liz. Oh, look who's the best friend now! Liz! I gotta go. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> you started without me? Great. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Here comes the blood. <laughs> So 
suppose the bleeding stopped? Almost. Big old cameraman like Bob? You wouldn't expect the sight of a bloody nose to send him screaming into the bathroom like Shut that. Shut up. <laughs> right. Hey, I'm sorry about what happened, man. Save it, Jack. I lost my girlfriend. My nose is bleeding like a punctured water balloon. If you feel terrible, how do you think I feel? Reflective? <laughs> this is all your fault. Careful, your nose is going to start bleeding again. What are you trying to do? You want to get back together again with Shelly? Oh, please. Look, then why did you say all that stuff? I mean, especially with the camera here. Well, sometimes I cross the line, but that's what makes me me. Yeah. <laughs> Childish, immature, and selfish. Yeah, well, you started it. Nah. Uh -huh. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> you broke the guy code. Oh, because I told Shelly about Monica Rawls. That was only your latest violation. You broke the guy, Cole, when you asked her out in the first place. She's not your girlfriend anymore. I asked and you said it was okay to go out with her. Which just asking is a violation of the guy code. I don't know. Maybe we should uh, take a look at this code. It seemed to make a lot more sense when we were egging houses and playing ring and run. Now, I'm not so sure. Oh, no. The guy code endures. The guy code is forever. And where does it say that? In the guy code. <laughs> look, this whole conversation is ridiculous. The very idea that I have any feelings for Shelly at all is out of the question. Hey, Shelly, it's Jack. Are you okay? Go away, Jack. It's Shelly. I had to see you. Oh, you had to see me. Hmm. What is it with guys who don't know when to let go? How many women do you see obsessing like that? Huh? Look, I just came by to say I'm sorry. Oh, well, it seems as long as I've known you, you've been saying you're sorry. But this time I really mean it. The other times were just so we could have sex again. <laughs> That's well, Jack. That makes me feel a whole lot better. You slept with my best friend. And even now, it bothers you that I slept with your best friend? You bet it does. <laughs> now you know how I feel about you and Brian. <laughs> However, there was one teensy-weensy difference with Monica. You slept with her while you were dating me. Okay, valid point. I'll concede that. <laughs> Tell me again, Jack. What are you apologizing for? Okay, I just want to say I'm sorry for everything. I'm sorry about Monica. I'm sorry about embarrassing you on TV. I'm sorry about your birthday, Valentine's Day, taking that picture of you when you were sick. And most of all, I'm sorry I couldn't commit. My God. You really mean it. You're not just saying this to have sex, are you? Nope. I don't think I am. Hey, I'm a good guy. Ah, oh, Shelly. <laughs> um. Jack. Well, um, just, just for the record, I, uh, I really meant it up until this point, then. Get out of here, Jack. Oh, Shelly. No, come on. Come on. No, no, Jack, was... get out. I, okay, all right. But I was a good guy. Don't let it be forgot that for a brief, shining moment, <laughs> I was a good guy. <laughs> Hey, Brian, they got mini tacos at the happy hour bar. It's early, so the bacteria count will be low. Excuse me, I'm gonna go eat with my real friends. Okay, I'm not that hungry. I paid off your parking ticket. You what? Yep, I went down this morning and paid them off. You're straight, buddy. I use my slice of life money. You did. That's right. You know why? Because I'm a guy, and you're a guy, and we live by a code. <laughs> so can we bring your speakers back into the living room? We cross your name off the Cheerios box? Consider it done. Good to be talking again. Well, it's nice to be talking to someone. Shelly won't talk to me, won't see me. 
It's been six days. I try and call her, but all I get is her answering machine. It's cold. You know, I'd go see her, but I'm afraid that I'm invading her space. Mm, that's the way I'd play it. I come to the hangar. She thinks I'm here. Jeez. I feel like Fredo in Godfather 2. I feel like Meg Ryan in Sleepless in Seattle. <laughs> I mean, one guy's great, the, the other guy's a pain. The only difference is I don't want either one of them. God. Okay. I guess I'm going to have to be your Rosie O'Donnell. You know, Meg's best friend. Mm -hmm. And tell you you are so lucky and you don't even know it. Okay, Liz, calm down. Why do we always end up with these, these liars and losers? And you get a, a really sweet guy like Brian who's crazy about you. I know, but Brian can't handle the fact that Jack and I had a relationship. Yeah, I keep hearing you say that, but I don't think that Brian is the one with the problem. I think it's you. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe you need to decide if what you have with Brian is worth putting up with the insanity of Jack. Oh, I don't know about that. And maybe you need to decide if what you have with Brian is worth putting up with the insanity of Jack. <laughs> you just said that. I know, I know. It sounded so good I had to repeat it. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, that show's on soon. Oh, Slice of Life? I don't think I want to watch. Yeah, it's too hard to see Brian again. <laughs> oh, what the hell. <laughs> Magnificent! Look at the size of my face! I'm like a wounded fawn, seeking refuge in the forest. Or sometimes I feel like one of those winged horses that you see painted on the sides of vans. Oh, he's so cute! I'm like the wind. He's me. Or, or, or the rain. Or, or hail. A friend of mine said hail once. No way. What? What? No, I'm not kidding. That's me up there. Uh-huh. You're just saying that because you look a little bit like him. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm Jack Slate. Here, I'll show you some ID. Look at this. Uh, just stay away from me, okay? You know what? I am different than any other guy. <laughs> Weber with 1D. I work at McCormick Place Convention Center. I coordinate all the big shows. Got the boat show coming up. Just finished the auto show. What was the guy doing with the camera? He made me look like a complete geek. <laughs> Jealous or over Jack? I want to know. Right here. Right now. Brian, if you have a problem with my past, I am sorry. You know, it's obvious you can't handle what happened between me and Jack. I'm starting to think maybe this isn't going to work out. Come on, Liz. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, I thought they shut the camera off for this part. Jack, a guy like you might not understand this. In fact, you'll probably laugh when I say it, but uh, a woman like Shelly may not come along again in my life. <laughs> Thank you. Right now, I wish... I wish I could tell her all the things I've been too shy to say. Like, how I could have the worst day at work, and I come home, call her, hear her voice, and I'm in a great mood again. Or sometimes I'll actually physically tr tremble when she's next to me. Oh, God, he looks so stupid. I feel so stupid. <laughs> was more powerful than I remember. I meant every word of it. I guess I finally know how you feel, Jack. What do you mean? Shelly's not the type of woman you just get over. No, she's not. Brian? Shelly. A lot of baggage for my relationship no, with Jack. No, look, I was oversensitive. I'm sorry. No, I, I, I don't want him to come between us anymore. I'm so glad to see you guys together again. <laughs> oh, 
Um, Liz and I met in college. Yeah. I went on to be a teacher. Liz dropped out. Only three years, five months short of a degree, though. <laughs> uh, a lot of books and things. <laughs> oh, hi. Cut. I... So, if you're available and interested and kind of cute, you can write Liz, care of this station. Can I, can I say that on TV? Hello there. Cut. See, uh, Jack and I met in the principal's office in third grade. And he was there because he uh, snuck into the girl's bathroom. And I was there because he tried, to, he tried to pin it on me. Well, hi there. Oh, cut. What? That was natural. 